This is Internet Business Mastery, Episode 100. In a world where bosses control your life and thoughts of escape fill your mind, where inspiration seems dead and cynicism rules the masses, you have a desire to break free. You feel the need to take control. Now, there exists a place where the secrets of freedom and wealth are given to those who believe. InternetBusinessMastery.com Free your mind. Hello and welcome to the 100th episode of Internet Business Mastery Online at InternetBusinessMastery.com. I'm Sterling. And for the 100th time, I'm Jay. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and we're here to help you escape the nine to five and live the lifestyle of your dreams by turning your life's passion into a profitable internet business, even if you're just getting started today. And on this episode of Internet Business Mastery, we reveal the secret sauce for finally succeeding in online business. And in the quick tip, we have a tool for easily creating a mock up of a new website design. And we'd like to remind you that if you'd like to get a jump start on creating your own profitable internet business using our proven system, you can claim your risk-free trial membership to the Internet Business Mastery Academy by going to freeaudiogift.com. So, Jay, 100 episodes. Who'd have thought? (laughs) Who'd have thought? 100 episodes. I don't... Did you think we'd get to 100 when we started in, let's see, October 2005? Did you think we'd make 100 of these? Is that what it was? (laughs) Uh, God, that, I mean, back then it sounded like a lot to do 10, right? Uh, especially, you know, we were doing it uh, like once a month or just whenever we got around to it. Uh, so thinking of doing a hundred episodes <laughs> back then probably would have been, what the heck? How would we even do that? It would take 10 years. Right. Well, and you know, in, in light of, uh, you know, so o- o- over the weekend, for those listening, Sterling and I were at a little mastermind group talking a, a lot about the, the focus of the group was figuring out what our strengths were, what our unique abilities were, what really fulfilled us, and making sure that the percentage of time we spent doing those things was as high as possible. And, you know, we kept saying multiple times how, you know, fortunate we felt that we had a business and an outlet for using our unique abilities. And, you know, that's something we're still fine tuning the language of, but for both of us, it has to do with, you know, sharing resources and ideas and inspiring people to to new levels of purpose and, and, and freedom and happiness. And, and so, you know, the, the, the show is obviously a critical part of that, of having that voice, sharing these ideas with people all over the world. I mean, this, this show has been listened to in like 120 plus different uh, countries, which is pretty amazing. So um, yeah, I I don't know that I even ever thought that we'd make it to 100. It's funny, as much as we talk about planning ahead, knowing what your destination is, it's funny that I don't, how little of that we probably did when we just kind of started this thing. And here we are 100 episodes later, uh, a thriving business that meets our fulfillment factors that meets the the grand purpose that provides us a great living and also helps us just reach out and impact the lives of a lot of people. So I guess that's uh, pretty amazing. Has to be pretty happy about that. Yeah. I mean, considering when we started, it was just uh, because we loved marketing so much and internet business, we wanted to talk about it. And we had our other internet businesses that we were doing, and this was just for fun. Yeah, it's been awesome to see what it uh, has come to. And, you know, for me, uh, especially the the mission that we had, even from the start, has just grown and grown and grown for me. I love it even more now. I guess uh, just another testament to to just diving in and taking action. We're like, well, let's just try this thing out. And here we are five years later. <laughs> see what happens. Which is, you know, a, a very, very appropriate, I guess, segue into the topic of today, the secret sauce of, of finally succeeding in online business. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about it. What, what flavor do you think the sauce is? Barbecue, maybe, maybe a little zesty I think chipotle. It might depend on everybody's own taste. Ooh, How about that? Good answer. Even better. That is a good answer. All right. Let's dive into the feature segment. And now, the feature segment. So, Sterling, I don't know about you, but, you know, when you're a fledgling entrepreneur, think, looking into this whole idea of internet business, going to seminars, maybe, you know, listening to a show like ours, maybe uh, going through a course, at some point or at several points along the way, there seems to be this 
thought that, uh, you know, you're trying different things out. Some things are working, some things aren't. Maybe you're not making quite the progress of what you want. And at some point, you go, man, there's got to be some kind of secret sauce. There's something they're not telling me. There's something they're holding back behind the scenes. Uh, you know, it's like the, the, the magic barbecue sauce on your ribs. And you're like, man, what's that ingredient they're putting in there that makes it so good? Because when I go home and do it myself, it's just not the same. Did you ever, did you ever have that, that thought like, man, there's got to be a secret sauce? Yeah, pretty quick. And I, I don't think I would have ever guessed at the time uh, what it actually was. I would have thought, ooh, it's a, a special way they do their sales page or, you know, a certain little tweak they do to uh, their autoresponder series or, you know, some little thing like that. And of course, now uh, that we know what it is, it makes perfect sense. But yeah, back then I wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't have thought of this. And I've never actually heard anybody else talking about it. So this is kind of nope. fun to uh, be revealing this finally. Yeah, I in in all I mean, I am a lifelong learner for sure and I've gone through a lot of different seminars and courses and I don't think I yeah, I can't recall anybody ever speaking to this. And yeah, it was the same thing for me. I thought, man, this yeah, there's got to be secret sauce and it's probably some magic traffic source that they're not telling me. Um but uh it, it it was maybe a little surprising and also liberating and awesome to kind of figure out what it finally was. And yeah, I've never heard anybody else talking about this either. So and it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, you know, it definitely goes back to what we talked about in the last episode, episode 99, we were talking about how to fail in online business and life and three easy steps. And, and basically, we outlined this, uh, the, the three pillars of happiness, which were uh, freedom, ha- to have more freedom in your life, the freedom to live your life the way you want to, to live where you want to, to spend the time the way you want to. And, uh, you know, that's something as human beings that fulfills us all. Then the, the ability to have worthwhile relationships and to connect with the world around us in the way that fulfills us with our families, colleagues, uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, you know, whoever that might be. And then the third pillar was purpose to, to have some fulfillment of, of, uh, of who we are and, and what we have to offer to the world to, to leave something behind in the world, so to speak, as well. And when we find that nice combination of freedom and, and connection with other people, relationships, and, and purpose, that leads to success and happiness. But all of those things require taking action towards them. And so we proposed that the three ways to fail would be to, that there are only three ways to fail. I mean, we always talk about, you know, there's no failure, there's feedback, only feedback, and that we learn from our mistakes. And at some point, we expect to go to the bat, to bat and strike out every once in a while. But that there was this proposal that the only way to really fail in business or in life was to get to the end of everything and go, dang, I I didn't really strive for the kind of freedom I wanted. I didn't strive to really fulfill the purpose that I felt for myself or even to figure out what it was. Or I didn't strive to have whatever meaningful relationships or connections with people that felt right to me. And that that would be, you know, the most unfortunate thing to to like reach the end of your life or or some later stage in your life and go, oh, wow, I I didn't take enough action towards those things. So the, the solution that we came up with was to take consistent action in congruence with your definitions of freedom, relationships, and and purpose, and and to design your life and your business around those things, and and continually taking action. But this assumes two things, and and that's where we lead into the secret sauce that we're getting to here. It assumes 